As the sun sets over diocesan school for girls, there's an excited energy in the senior common room. The Bollywood dance group is rehearsing for a big event. This dance group will be one of many different cultures proudly sharing their costumes and customs at a gala show called Diversity at Dayo. This is a chance for the whole community to hear, taste and see just how proud the pupils are of their differing cultures. Education these days is more than just, you know, just part of your life. It's what, it's your foundation. And we want girls to feel comfortable enough to be completely themselves, you know, display their whole self. They learn about themselves as individuals, where they come from, their background, their ancestors. And so it's coming here to New Zealand, you actually have to learn the best of both cultures. I think that's what I want for my children. The idea for diversity at Dayo came when international prefect Kirtana Selvakumar met her staff mentor for the year, food technology teacher Ritu Seji. Ritu had started an informal Indian culture group, which grew from a dance troupe for a one-off event into something much more. Our group has just grown. And it's become like an Indian culture group. We did things like uh, Rangoli competition, the Rakhi competition, and just talking about uh, what, we, what those celebrations mean. My whole aim was, you know, how today's generation, they're more into Bollywood, into remixes and things. Mine's is more towards taking them towards traditional, uh, with more discipline and, you know, actually taking pride in what they do, rather than just doing what they show in movies. <laughs> The Indian culture group became so popular with girls from all ethnic groups at the school that Ritu and Kirtana realized the time was right for an event that included everybody. When they started researching, what was revealed was the exceptional cultural diversity of their school. After being at Dyer for seven years, I was shocked at the start of the year looking at all the nationalities there are. And I was even more amazed that we were able to get all these students to participate in this event. So like Russian, um, India, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Korea, uh, Spain, France, Greece. It is the enthusiasm that we've seen in those little kids that has made us want to do this. And that's when we hit the idea of a catwalk because that's something that hasn't been done before. At last, it's showtime and an excited crowd begins their experience of diversity at Dayo. School principal Heather McRae jumped at the chance to join in as well. For her, acknowledging culture is a key part of education. A lot of how they feel about themselves and where they go in life really depends on their own self-identity. And for students who have a very strong sense of who they are and they value their culture because it is inherently part of them, it's part of the environment and the family that they've been raised in. And so it really acknowledges that for them and it helps build that sense of self-esteem and who I am in the world. And once they do that, that's really the key to valuing each other and understanding each other's perspectives, opinions, values. And I think that helps them make them much better decision makers and they learn to appreciate others and learn how to work as a team. The teamwork has really paid off, both for the participants and the audience. The sense of pride is obvious and the event's future on the diocesan calendar is assured. <laughs>